Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes or your daily reading for the 18th, July 18th. I decided to use all my favorite decks today. I don't know why. There's, I don't know why. But these are my four favorite decks. So, um... This is the Angel Romance. This is the Energy Oracle. This is the Grand Lux by Ciro Marchetti. And this one is the Arcranum. I may have said that wrong. Anybody that blasts me going to get blasted right back. Just so you know. Anyway. You know what I'm talking about. Arcranum or Arcanium or something like that. I don't speak perfectly and I'm never going to. Let's get started. All right, so where are we going to start? This is a preview of what is to come. Let's see. This is a message from my guides for somebody. I don't know who. We're going to start right here. It's about, what, 5.45 p.m. Eastern Time that I am recording this. on the 17th. Ooh. Ooh. The thinking man. We got a man that is thinking. I'm sure he is thinking. Yes, he is. I'm positive. Yep. We got a thinking man. He's thinking about everything. Okay. He's thinking about what he has to offer. He's thinking about what he, what he doesn't have he's I'm just telling you what I feel um, this man is really thinking about his future um, he's feeling some sort of energy you notice he has a crystal in his hand there's energy there he's thinking about his feelings okay he's feeling right now he's in his feelings um, yeah he has a lot to think about he has a lot to think about um, You know, that's a rock in his hand. He, he may be thinking about commitment, you know. Maybe he's thinking about a woman that, you know, wants commitment. Maybe she wants a ring. I don't know. Um, but this man is absolutely, positively thinking heavily. You know what he's thinking about? He's thinking about a connection. <laughs> yes, he is. He is. He is thinking very heavily about a connection. Somebody that he probably has a lot of feelings for. Let's get one of these. He's thinking about love. Well, we have the world card. This is a lesson learned. This is a lesson learned. Um, this is a major new beginning here. Somebody has learned a big lesson. They've completed a chapter in their life. They've completed a cycle. And now they're thinking about a future relationship. This is success, okay? This is a successful completion of a chapter and the beginning of a new one. So somebody may have learned a lesson about love. We have a major new beginning here. Now, he's thinking about his rock. You know, he may be thinking about I mean, who is his rock? Who has been his rock? Or who is going to be his rock? You know, because that's a rock in his hand. Um, very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. 
So that's what he is thinking. He's thinking about what he wants. He's thinking about the next chapter of his life. He's thinking about the future. He's thinking about love. He is absolutely thinking about love. I'm positive he is. Um, what else do we have for the 18th? He's in, he's thinking, he's definitely thinking, think, 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 think. He has a lot to think about. King of swords reversed. Ooh, passion, passionate new start. This is a match. Wish fulfillment with well, high priestess. Well, of course, of course, we got the high priestess here. That makes sense. So this man is, he may be in a little bit confused. He's definitely thinking. He uh, may have neglected somebody in the past. He may be a little cold and withdrawn as he's thinking. This is your thinking man. Okay. He is definitely a little unclear as to, and that makes sense, he's unclear as to what he wants to do. He may be a little fearful. There's an opportunity for a new beginning here with this Fool Reverse, but there's, there's fear in the way. There's fear of um, getting hurt, perhaps. Maybe fear of getting taken advantage of. Maybe fear of being naive or being foolish or being seen as a fool. This man may be worried about what other people are going to say. I feel as though there's an opportunity. This is wish fulfillment here with the star card. There's hope. There's hope for renewal. There's hope for a new beginning. He's This person is probably hoping for a passionate fresh start. Um, but if you may be dealing with the high priestess, you can't hide anything from the high priestess, nothing, not one thing. And that's what, uh, he's thinking about. Okay. The energy that the, remember I said the energy, this one, she knows, she knows, she, she knows you can't, you can't hide anything from her. So he's definitely in his head. He's in his thoughts. He's in his own little world right now. Thinking about, you know, you know, he's very, he, he, he's very attracted to this person. He's, he's very attracted. He's, he's probably thinking about, um, maybe rekindling a flame or, um, starting over. Okay. Cause these two, it could be starting over. I think that there's an opportunity for renewal here, um, of a connection but there can be no secrets with the high priestess there can be no secrets so um i think we have this person that is going within to think about you know their future um, they've learned some sort of lesson about neglect about treating people unfairly i think what has happened is in the past this man has treated somebody unfairly and you know there's an opportunity for a passionate new start here but um they definitely attempted very very tempted there's a strong desire there's a strong attraction there's a bond and it's like an unbreakable bond between these people okay so i think that there's a strong desire to um well, let's get the rest of the cards. Go back or rekindle a flame. Okay, rekindle a flame with somebody. This person is definitely worried about rejection. They're worried about what everybody else is going to say. Okay. Um, there is a deep, deep bond. Um, it could be toxic at times. It could be toxic because there's power struggles between these two people. Um, tug of war back and forth back and forth this guy is really struggling so we have somebody here that is really going back and forth in regards to you know where he wants to go whether he wants to communicate whether he wants to move forward whether he wants to go after his dreams okay this is this is his dreams there's an you know i think that we have somebody here that is wishing to communicate they're wishing to fo to move forward they're wishing to um, start over. They're wishing to start over. They're wishing to, to, if they, that they could start over, but 
there's a lot of, of tension over, you know, not being able to hide anything, you know, not being able to, you know, there's no secrets here. You can't keep any secrets from the high priestess. So I feel like we have, he, this guy is thinking about going back. Okay. He's thinking about going back to somebody. He's thinking about it. Um, he's definitely tempted to do so. There's a strong desire to do so. There's a strong attraction here, a very strong attraction. Um, but there could be addictions. Okay. There could be addictions in the way there could be pride. There could be ego. There's fear. We saw this yesterday. This man is fearful. He's let his ego, um, choose his direction for so long. He has, he has. And, um, I feel like this person has buried themselves in addictions to overcome their, their fears, to overcome their, their, well, to hide, you know what I mean? To hide, to escape. This is escapism. This person has tried to escape reality with addictions, but I feel like there's been some sort of maybe, um, well, there's a new opportunity here. There is a new opportunity here. It's like all of a sudden the door has opened. It's like the door has just opened and there's an opportunity to grab onto it and start over. There is, but it would take an apology. It would take an apology. And I think this man is, you know, this man, it's hard for this man to apologize. It's hard for this man to come clean. It's hard for this man to communicate his truth. He escapes truth with addictions. Okay. And there are so many addictions in this world. So he escapes the truth with addictions, but there's now there's this old, this golden opportunity that has just opened right up. Okay. And I feel like he is thinking about going back. He's thinking about moving forward. He's thinking about heading in that direction that he is passionate about, but he is very worried. He is very worried. He's in deep thought over starting over. He will have to master his emotions and face the opposition. Um, he's stuck. We have this, we have this thinking man that is very stuck. He is, um, blocking his emotions. He's blocking his truth. He's been in denial for a long time. Okay. This man is very indecisive. He, he probably has a loyalty to, you know, Or he feels like he has to be loyal to several other people, but is, but, and that's what's causing his indecision. His, his, this is like duality. Okay. I feel like this man has been wearing some sort of a mask. He's been pretending he's been, he's been blocking his true emotions. Um, but he sees an opportunity for wish fulfillment. And I think that there's a spark here. There's some sort of spark. Something has happened, which has, you know, sparked his interest. So Knight of cups reversed. So you gotta be careful. You could, you gotta be careful because this man may not be emotionally available. He may not be, emo maybe he, maybe he's not able to open his heart. He maybe, maybe he doesn't have enough love to offer, you know, the Knight of cups reversed. Maybe he's not really, you know, who you think he is. Um, you just gotta be careful here. Whoever that this Knight of cups reversed is somebody who is Prince charming. And that's all he is. He's Prince charming, but he has no follow through. He has no real love to offer, but he presents himself as being full of love, but there's no love there. So I feel, and that could be the duality. This is confusing. And he, he this man is confused. He is definitely confused. I think that, um, this is blocked and this is blocked, blocked love, 
blocked emotions. This person has blocked emotions. Maybe he's been blocked by this other person. Maybe it's the high priestess has blocked him or he's blocked her. Either way, we have somebody here that is really going back and forth in regards to offering love. Because they know that they have to come clean because they can't hide anything from the high priestess. There's an opportunity to take that mask off and speak the truth. But that would take, you know, mastering of emotions and moving forward with faith and, and getting in that vehicle and... You know, coming with something solid. Maybe it's that, I mean, that's, you know, maybe it's that uh, ring. It doesn't have to be a ring, but it's a gift. You know, it's a gift. It's something solid, something stable. So I feel as though we have somebody here that is thinking about a connection that they are deeply bound to it's like they're bound to this person they're attracted to this person they feel it they feel the attraction they feel the the uh it's like they feel excitement when they when they see this person so anyhow i feel as though there's a new door that has opened and this is where somebody finds the moral backbone and the integrity <clears throat> to do the right thing, to come forward, to communicate, to apologize, to do whatever they have to do to bring success, because this is about success. Let me just move this up a little bit. There we go. So I, I feel like there's an opportunity to bring success, because this is victory and success, to a partnership with integrity, with focus, with replacing fear with faith and unblocking emotions. So, but I feel like we have somebody here that is unwilling to unblock their emotions. You know, this person has been blocking them and hiding them and escaping from the truth for so long that it's really going to be hard for this person to communicate. This person cannot, you know, is very unable to communicate because of their fears, their fears of rejection. But they're having, they have a hard time sleeping at night. They're really struggling. They're really, really struggling with, um, they may have gotten themselves into a false relationship, you know, trying to heal, whatever. But it feels as though they know this person and knows this person, that the man knows what they want. This person does know, but he's confused because he has to make a decision to between two sides. Okay, there's two sides here. It's one, one of them is the ego. You know, what is everybody going to say? You know, and the other is my heart. So... I feel I feel as though there's a new passionate beginning here. Somebody is heading very very quickly in a new direction. They've learned some lesson, they've learned some sort of life lesson about dishonesty, about neglect, about um treating people unfairly. They've learned some sort of lesson. Maybe they got some karma. I don't know. Um, I don't see any karma here though, except for this devil could be karma, but I don't think that's what this is. I feel as though there's a, there's a, it's like a fire has been lit. Okay. The fire has been lit. There's your match. Okay. The match has been lit. All of a sudden it's just like, whew, where did this come from? So, you know, I feel like somebody is moving in a new direction. I think that they are going to take action. I feel as though they're very scared to take action. I feel like they, they may send a message. They may send a message. Um, it may be just a simple message. Um,
Hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, they're they're definitely intimidated. They're definitely intimidated by this person. This person wants the truth and nothing but the truth, and she will settle for nothing but the truth. So, I mean, she's she's. Which comes up so much. I feel like we have somebody here that is really deeply thinking about coming forward with their truth to this person who is very, um, this person is very forthright. This person is very honest. This first person is very authentic. This person is very wise. She's very mature. She cuts right to the, through the bullshit. Okay. She's, she doesn't deal with bullshit. Okay, so I feel like we have somebody here that um, is headed towards this woman to give her something, whether it's, you know, an apology or what. Could be an apology. She may be getting an apology. And it's because she, she stood her ground. She stood in her power. Um, this is holding on. holding on to stability holding on to the relationship this person may come forward to hold on to a relationship you know doesn't want to let it go I don't want to let this go there's so much abundance here this is this is this is an opportunity to build a, a legacy to to have it all okay this is really have it all ten of Pentacles to build a very look at the mansion in the back Okay, to have a very comfortable, comfortable, comfortable home. Um, but like I said, you with the high priestess, this this is a very, you know, this woman she that he is thinking about is very um, she's intimidating. She's intimidating because she she doesn't uh, deal with bullshit. So um, I feel as though we have this this man or masculine that is fearful but has this strong 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 desire to come forward he does he wants to but he he's he's struggling with giving away his power he's he's and he's also struggling struggling with his ego you know what is everybody else going to think what is everybody else going to think if i follow my heart but his heart is not being fulfilled where he's at and I think he knows what he has to do, but replacing that fear with faith and leaving everybody else behind is going to take a lot of strength. This is a kind of strength to follow what he is passionate about, you know. So I feel like we have this man that is thinking about moving forward. Um, he's learned some sort of lesson, okay. He's learned a lesson about how to treat others, okay. He has. Um, I feel as though, will he come forward? He may, he may, because this is mastering your emotions, getting in your vehicle and heading in that direction towards something stable, towards something very abundant. He may be heading towards home, you know, he could be, um, or he may be headed towards somebody that he wants to build a home with. Um, somebody is coming forward, whether it's, this could be somebody brand new, it could be a new sexual partner. Okay. You know, somebody is moving forward. They are completing one cycle, one chapter. They have learned a lesson and they are about to basically move in a new direction. This is moving in a new direction. It's like that is over. I'm moving forward. I'm going towards wish fulfillment. So I feel like we have somebody here that is about to go after their dreams. And maybe they have a dream. Maybe they have a dream that pushes them in that direction. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's get one of these. It's going to be a long one, huh? We have two people that are coming together. And I think that these people have a strong, strong bond. They do. They do. Um, they may even be addicted to each other. <laughs> they probably are. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. 
There could be abandonment issues. There could be abandonment issues all the way back to, you know, when you were a child that has caused this person to escape commitment, you know, want to escape commitment. I don't know. This person may be coming in because there's a family issue and they want to help. Who knows what it is? Who knows? But, <sighs> and this is healing as well. Healing. Healing a connection. So I really feel as though we have a man that is thinking about healing a connection with a feminine that is very cut to the chase. You know, this one is very cut to the chase. She's loyal. She is very loyal. So he may be coming with an apology or he may be coming with an offer. He is definitely tempted to do so. Um, this could be somebody brand new. This could be somebody brand new arriving into your life. Somebody that does have something solid. Somebody that really does want to put in the effort. Okay, Whoever this person is that's coming in, whether it's somebody from the past or not. This is somebody who does want to put in effort and they have learned a life lesson already about how to treat others. So yeah, that's what I got. Good luck.